all right so this is a simple setup of how to use the vmix mini panel on a pc the first thing is you need to make sure that the vmix mini panel is recognized by the pc as a keyboard and if you connect your mini panel to the laptop the lights will come on and what you have to do is you have to open a notes app any notes app so this is notepad and then you try clicking any of the keys on the panel to see if there's going to be any uh, response if there's no response what you need to do is you need to install this app called the midi pa the midi map dot exe you need this setup and it sets up the pc to recognize the mini panel as a keyboard so this is how it looks right? it has already mapped all the keys to all the keys here and once you keep it you open it up you don't need to go through any setup process just put it on and if you close it's going to minimize itself down here and as long as it's on the computer open like this the midi the vmix mini panel is now supposed to be functioning right so that is the first step to making sure that your mini panel can be used on your pc that's the first step with minimap it will not work unless a vmix panel is connected to the computer if i open minimap it's going to show me an error and this error is mainly because it does not detect any vmix panel connected to it and so first you have to connect the vmix panel and when you connect the vmix panel the lights would come on and go back off and once that happens i'll then come and open minimap application and when i open minimap application this is what is going to show it will tell me that it has de it has detected the tyht 500 switcher which is the name of this panel and it has already mapped the keys for me once this happens i will then open any notes app to confirm that it truly is working and to confirm that it's truly working i have to press asdf or any keys on my actual keyboard first and then i would come and press here just to make sure that whatever I type also reflects on the notes app, which means the application works and the panel is detectable. Now, after making sure that the keyboard works, you'd come and open OBS and you would already um, have set up your camera angles the sound sources you need to use and everything for the sake of demonstration purposes i've named all the angles scene one scene two scene three and scene four i've named them in different angles and i've put the camera in different locations to show that they are different but if you want to use the mini panel you need to already do a setup that is similar to this and then what you will do is you come to file you go to settings and in settings you would see hotkeys over here in hotkeys you then can use these keys to set up uh, shortcuts so let me just use any example of an empty space this is stop streaming you can see and for that i can use any key i want if i use this key over here it reflects as the key c on a keyboard right let me do it again you would see it shows us C on a keyboard. And because these keys are standard keys on a keyboard, if you use them directly, what would happen is when you're typing, you would be activating these shortcuts by mistake. In case you want to change the name of a scene or you want to change the name of anything in OBS. So the solution is to add an actual control, a modifier key, which is control, alt or shift you hold you press and hold any of these control alt or shift or a combination of them and then you would press and so you can see that to start or stop streaming i have used control plus alt plus e over here e is 
str which means to stream that is what is represented on the keyboard so i would hold down control plus alt and press str and then my streaming would be activated if i want to record over here the key is rec but on the keyboard it's represented as w so i would press and hold control plus alt and then i'll press rec to activate it if i press only the rec here it's not going to activate because i want to be able to type the letter w without activating the shortcut that's why i've added the modifier keys so at every single point in time if you want to be using the mix um, the vmix panel you have to press and hold down control plus alt you can set it to whatever modifier key you want but it's you have to use a modifier that you rarely use because if you use control plus z z is represented here as um, scene one which means if you are to press control plus z it's going to activate scene one instead of the normal shortcut we all know as undo so i use control plus alt you can choose whatever shortcut you want and you go through and set set them i have made a list of what i think is appropriate where and so you can just follow the list and then you set everything so you just press down control plus alt and i've written the specific names of the keys you have to use so you just go through and set up everything as according to this and i'll take screenshots of or pictures of these and then i'll send them this is for a full camera setup so you can see scene one to switch to scene one to switch to scene three the uh, scene one scene one scene two scene four scene three everything has been labeled and then to mute or to unmute your sound that is coming out uh, that is coming into the live stream into obs i've named it mixer board sound and i've given it a function so to mute or unmute is actually f4 over here so if you want to mute the sound that is coming into obs you press ctrl plus alt and then press f4 and it's going to mute so i'll set up my camera i'm going to set up my camera with a stand and i'll just do a short demonstration of how it's supposed to work also i have um, saved the scenes and made a scene collection called four cameras plus vmix mini panel so i'll send that or i'll make that available and if you install you would have exact same uh, the exact uh, setup i have here you can use this for your test or you can take this and then edit it to fit the strategy or the the setup that you would want to have i don't know if it's also transferred the hotkeys in case it did not then we'll have to set it up manually if it did then you don't have to set it up it's already set up you just have to look at the the, the list i'll provide for which key does what and that would be it all right so i hope my screen can be seen and what i'll do is if i want to switch from scene one to scene two on the scene uh, section i need to switch to scene two and this is scene two on the preview so i have set it such that i hold down Control alt and press on two and it gives me angle two and then if i want to make angle two go to the program which is i want people in the live stream or i want my recording to capture angle two i would hold down the same control plus alt and then i've used take for transition which is any standard transition that i set as default over here and so i'll just go press control plus alt and then press take and it's going to transition angle two to angle one uh, angle two into the live stream or into the program section and angle one would come back to preview so if i want to go to my third camera which is camera three or angle three i'm going to hold down control plus alt and press three on the preview section and it will go to angle three and if i want that to be live streamed i'll just hold control plus alt and press transition or tick and it will transition into that area same applies to angle four i would press and hold control plus alt and Hit on four when i hit on four it's going to come into the preview section and i'll press and hold Control alt transition it and then angle four will now be seen now if i want to put my virtual camera on which is usually what we do if you want to be able to live stream in zoom i have set my virtual camera to be f2 which is the very button that is below the stream so 
if I want to stream, I'll press Ctrl plus Alt and then STR. And if I have already set my stream settings, my live stream is going to be activated. But if I want to put on my, um, my virtual camera for people in Zoom or in other sources or in other applications to be able to capture this video, I have done that as F2. And so when I press Ctrl plus Alt and hit on F2, my virtual camera is going to be activated and it will tell me I can use that same button to toggle my virtual camera off. I press Ctrl plus Alt and hit on F2 and you can see my virtual camera is being put off. And that is for virtual camera, which would um, give your Zoom or your other applications your video feed. And if I want to start recording, there's REC button here, which I have set to start or stop my recording. So I will press and hold Control and Alt. And when I hit the REC, my recording comes on. Now, if I want to pause this recording, I would press and hold the same Control plus Alt. And then I would hit the button which is below recording, which I have personally set to be pause recording. So if I hit Control plus Alt and I press on F1, my recording is going to be paused. And that same F1 can be used to resume the recording. So Control plus Alt, F1, and then the recording has resumed. Now, if I wanted to stop the recording, the same button which I used to start recording is the same button that I would press to stop my recording entirely because that one is a toggle for start or stop. So I would press Control plus Alt and then hit on REC and my recording has stopped. Now, if I wanted to mute my sound, which is coming out from my mixer board or whatever source that I have selected, I'm going to use, I believe I used F4. So I'll press Ctrl plus Alt and hit on F4. And the moment I hit on F4, you can see that my sound has been grayed out where it's written as mixer board sound. That side is now gray over here. And if I, if I press on Ctrl plus Alt and also F4, it would bring my sound back. As you can see, my sound is now green, which means that it has been unmuted. So that is a shortcut that I have created to unmute. So there's a whole list of a lot of um, shortcuts. For example, if I wanted to take a screenshot of what is currently happening in my angle four or in my, my program scene, or rather, what I would do is I would press and hold control alt and hit on eight. That is um, program uh, eight over here is what I've used for screenshot of my program scene. So control plus alt eight, and then it takes a screenshot. If I wanted to take a screenshot of any specific source. So for example, I have camera one here as a source on its own. And I want to take a screenshot of just that camera. I have set that to be preview eight. So on the mini um, panel, you can see that there's preview and there's program. The bottom is preview. The top row numbers uh, program. So control plus alt eight, and that will take a screenshot of just my camera angle and not everything. So these are just a few of the many um, shortcuts that you can set or the hotkeys you can set in OBS to be able to use the VMix mini panel in OBS. Unfortunately, the volume knobs and the transition uh, gear, which is here, do not work in OBS because they are not being seen as keys. And because of that, you are unable to use them. However, all the other buttons that can be pressed can be easily used. If you want to use the VMix mini panel in VMix, there's also um, a list of hotkeys that have been made into a file, which is easily installable in VMix. So you just have to import those settings and everything would be mapped for you the way you want it to be. And in VMix, it's quite easy to do. And I believe in VMix, all the scroll stuff work in addition to the um, keys that are here. But because these keys are programmable in OBS, you can set them to anything you would want. And after setting them, you would place, um, you can either place uh, a sticky uh, paper here and write on it what each is for, or you can actually place it on the keys themselves to indicate what each key is for and you you can go ahead and use it quite easily so i'll make that um, list of shortcuts available i'm going to also um, 
make sure that I put the sticky paper and write them or when I send this um, panel back that can be done as well and then the settings on the computer can also be figured out once I'm done with this and I pack it and I send it back this is a short uh, introduction on how to use a customizable um, panel which acts as a keyboard to be able to control your OBS yes um, I believe that is it thank you very much